Concord's massive flop hasn't phased Sony, which reportedly feels very positive about its next live service from Assassin's Creed veteran. Oh, yeah, right. It was developed by her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. So uh, there's supposedly a good internal sentiment around fair games. Jade Raymond's new multiplayer endeavor. Now, I have yeah. not seen the trailer to it. Oh, okay. I don't mind watching it again if you want to watch it. Okay, uh, I have n- I have not seen this. It, We're gonna watch it together. Yeah, yeah. I watched it like a, a yesterday or two days ago. It's maximum cringe. It's uh, Here we go. yeah. Okay, at the very least, they better make this one free to play. I mean, <laughs> Sony can't be that stupid to charge forty bucks for this. But anyway, yeah. Here we go. I have not seen this yet. Yeah, you, you should watch. Let's look at the comments after one. All right. Not actual gameplay. Wow. You want to know about us? Seems like everyone does these days. Cheat the rich. It's simple. Too much money and too much power is held by just a few people. And it's only getting worse. Okay, I'm going to pause right there. This game is a S- Sony Santa Monica game, is it? Or it, it, it's, it's, it's a place, it's, it's, it's a Sony game, right? Yeah, I think so. I, I know, I'm pretty sure it's being developed in house and it's by Jade, Jade Raymond. The shame okay. like, it's because like she made the, the very first Assassin's Creed. So that's probably how she got a, she got a position in Sony. But yeah, okay, I, so- this game's not going to do well either. So the so this game is about stealing from the rich, mm-hmm. right? Robbing mm-hmm. the rich. Mm-hmm. Sony is a rich company. Mm-hmm. So you're saying and, that you're gonna make a game to steal from Sony? Eh, 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 not not just that. It's like since it's gonna it's a live service game, so it's gonna rely on predatory monetary transactions to, to gain its revenues. <laughs> you see the irony in that. That's insane, man. So, we decided to do something about it. Let's go. Oh my god, that's the character. This this looks worse than Concord, dude. Yeah, and it's like someone mentioned in the chat, it's like CW's Robin Hood, the video. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh it my is. god, it, man. That's a good way of describing it. Yeah. <laughs> Robin the Hood 2.0, the game. Yeah. Yeah. And then why do they always have to put like cringe hip hop music that doesn't make sense? Why can't yeah, you just... just put like cool, like ambient music? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. It's so stereotypical. Too. Yeah. <laughs> It looks so bad, too. Yeah. And we're not even seeing gameplay. If you ain't got it, then you can't flaunt it. Pull up Lamborghini and Sonic. Those are the NFT bros. <laughs> the monkey. <laughs> Take it till you make it. Oh my god. Oh my god, the dislike. Yeah, t- check the comment section. It's, it's hilarious. Oh my god, dude. Sony is not looking for a game of the year. Sony is looking to break a 12-day record. Eat the rich, everyone, said the giant corporation. Also, please buy our overpriced battle pass and microtransactions. Concord, prepare for trouble, fair games, and make it double. <laughs> <laughs> oh man cancel it there's still time you can still save 50 million dollars you want to know about us no black character stealing what did he mean by that stop giving your money to people who hate you just stop fair games 
Fuck the rich. Also fair games. Hey, Sony, you mind sponsoring us? Oh my, another one says, I am I why am I not surprised for a nearly entirely white liberal dev team portrays a black woman as a bandit and plays rap in a trailer? Huh, why is that? Mm-hmm. Why is that? Guys, we're going to go going on a hike. Prepare yourselves. All right, let me just put on my giant hoop earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Ether Rich said BlackRock, the multi international investment management corporation. The fact that they left the comment section on is pretty brave. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, really bad, dude. Black yeah. protagonist, check. Female protagonist, check. Some kind of Afro hairstyle, check. Hip hop music, check. Uh, Force social commentary, check. That's a royal flush of stereotype. What could go wrong? Yep, and they before they even show a um actual gameplay, they're going to say you guys are are uh you know already saying you know if you're saying that you hate this game, you are bigoted and racist. I get they're gonna preemptively already put this out there. This is insane, dude. And if you go to their tw- uh their actual X, it says fair games, welcome to fair games, your chance to rob the rich and rebalance the scales. Take it till you make it. Competitive multiplayer heist game coming to PS5 PC. Yeah. This is really bad. Yeah. Holy crap, man. Yeah. It it looks Jim like Ryan bad. really did terribly during his time at Sony. Like he I'm sure he was part he invested in this too, apart from Concord. Yeah. Uh, and there's there's a um I do there's a there's this little snippet not snippet there is a little segment I do want to read from Smash JT uh, uh right over here, misreading their audience a repeat of Concord's mistake. Sony's biggest problem here is making the same mistake with fair games as they did with Concord, basically making a payday clone and pushing it as a GAAS model onto the uh onto an audience that primarily enjoys single player experiences. Sony's fan base has always gravitated towards narrative-driven single-player adventures like The Last of Us, Uncharted, and God of War. Instead of gradually introducing a GAAS model by adding multiplayer components to these beloved franchises, Sony is forcing its fan base into games that it don't align sorry, that don't align with their preferences. They see the monkey being made elsewhere, and those say and they so desperately want a piece of that pie. This game looks awful, man. And right over yeah. here, uh, what's uh, what's next? A game title fight the patriarchy. I kid, it, but that's right what here. it kind of felt like to me already. Fight the, in that trailer, fight the patriarchy. Yep, rich white men, people like mm-hmm. Elon Musk, mm-hmm. right? Donald Trump. Yep. Let's see. First, you apply. Have a look at our amazing careers and find one that appeals to you. Then send us a resume. We encourage everyone interested uh, uh, to apply, even if you're mis- missing a few qualifications. Diversity, equity, and inclusion are fundamentals to our values. And we truly believe the best people can come from all sorts of backgrounds, as long as you're not white and straight. If you're straight and white, this isn't a place for you. Do not apply. Right? When, when the company says... Where uh, we have 20 openings, apply here, apply here. We're looking for people, but not you. That's insane, man. But yeah, this is crazy. I didn't even know this game was a thing. But uh, yeah, it looks it looks god awful, dude. No, no gameplay yet. All we get is a cinematic trailer, and uh, I believe the cin- the first cinematic trailer came out uh, back in May of uh, last year. May of last year? And yeah. we still haven't gotten any updates? Yeah. So this only came to light because of what happened with Concord. And yeah, at the very least, they have to make this free to play. That's bare minimum after what happened to Concord. If they still going to charge 40 bucks for this, I, I don't know. There are uh, crazy people are running Sony if they still charge 40 bucks for this one. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.